Back now to a story that Channel 2 Investigates has been following for you for years. A Superfund site along the San Jacinto River leaking toxic chemicals after floodwaters from Hurricane Harvey damaged the cap that was holding those chemicals in place. New tonight, we're getting an update on efforts to remove those waste pits. Andy Sirota joining us live in our newsroom with more on this for us. Andy? Bill, the pits along the portion of the San Jacinto River at I-10 are filled with dioxin. That's a toxic chemical. In this case, it's what's left of the waste from a 1960s era paper mill. For years now, environmental groups, the Harris County Attorney's Office, and residents have fought to get that area cleaned up. Two years ago, dioxins began showing up in sediment samples around the base of the San Jacinto waste pits after Hurricane Harvey swamped our area. And the Environmental Protection Agency determined the caps containing the chemicals were damaged. In October 2017, shortly after the EPA ordered the companies responsible for the site to stabilize the caps to prevent more leaks, the agency announced a plan to permanently remove more than 200,000 cubic yards of contaminated material from the beds and banks of the San Jacinto River at a cost of $115 million. Since then, the Harris County Attorney's Office says the project has moved through the first remedial design phase and into the engineering phase, which will focus on how to safely remove, treat, and dispose of the toxic sludge. There are reportedly more than a dozen Superfund sites in the Houston area. It's been said the San Jacinto waste pits are one of the area's most hazardous. As the engineering phase of the project gets underway, the Harris County Attorney's Office tells us tonight it looks like it could be two years before crews start removing material from that site. Bill, Christine?